Hey, Scorpios. How's it going? It is um, your friend Dharma Jane here to do a, another tarot reading for you. Um, this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, possibly Venus, possibly Jupiter. Um, so, yeah. For all you newbies, welcome. Returning subscribers, hello, hello. I really do appreciate you guys. So, calling in guides, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good for cancer. What do we have for cancer this week? Um, I said cancer like three times. This is Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Um, I will tell you that while I was shuffling just now, I saw the five of cups come out. So Scorpio may be experiencing some disappointment in the week ahead. What do we have for base for Scorpio for the week ahead, please? So we have the Ace of Swords, you know, and that might be where the disappointment is coming from because the Ace of Swords is like the light bulb moment. That's when you get clarity. That's when the, you know, the sword comes through and just cuts down the veil. There's absolutely no question anymore about like the truth. Um, so we'll get some more on that. What else do we have? There's two cards here. Oh my God. I told you it came back out and then there's another five. So somebody might be broken up with this week or the realization that it's going to, you know, money and emotions. So household. And I kind of want to be like this ace of swords comes in and just whoosh, cuts it right down the middle because I can't believe that came back out. That's crazy town. But we also have the, um, five of pentacles, which is being left out in the cold. But, but I don't think that this is like being pushed out so much as, Mm, I mean, I, I want to talk about pentacles. Like I want to talk about money. I want to talk about this severance also severed your pentacles. It's like the whole thing is disappointing. The realization, the, the money part, the emotional part, the, the background, the, it just really sucks for either Scorpio or Scorpio's cross watcher, because I think this is the moment in time when they, when, because this is unmistakable. That is when it's cut. And so here we have the green woman. I really love her. She is wild, crazy, but this is, um, earthy, very earthy energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I actually feel like this is somebody in Scorpio's life who comes in and, um, maybe brings joy back or at least some silly, silly times, you know, she looks silly, but she seems to be able to tame this little monster. So, and he sits there willingly. So this might be the person that is leaving or the person that the thing was found out about. The, the person, the clarity is over because I kind of want to be like, this is Scorpio and this is how they felt about this person that they're with or vice versa. You know, it was magical or, or at least very earthy. So, um, like a kind of like a counterpart, like partner in crime. 
but there there's a realization that I think that that um oh my god the ace of swords again which is the in this one they call it he of the fiery sword which essentially I mean it's, it's a, like a giant sword that's on fire so it's like a sword plus a cautery right but you got the ace of swords twice which means that well the this in um in the book this also talks about justice and protection so this sometimes can represent libra but it's also if you want to look here at the four you know one 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 this is all and then you have another one over here but this is spirit sword meaning that and I think that that's this too this is just another like reiteration of, of a of a severance of a, a cutting of a cord but I think it's because it's supposed to be like it's time just got the initial M Mary and something about a Capricorn I just feel like for the for the week ahead that Scorpio was going to be you know like upset because and it's not that I think that they can't get over it or get past it I just think it's like well shit you know what am I going to do now this was my 10 right five and five this was it this was my counterpart my my dude my partner in crime this was this was it but this person here in between these two swords I think that especially being represented by the wild woman is that I don't think that this person can actually be tamed she can tame him but not vice versa She's a wild child. I kind of also want to talk about a, like a oppression or like if there was ever a time where this person felt like this box was coming down on them that they would freak out and like run away or go do whatever they wanted basically. Um, and so you have this character in between all of this knowledge that, bam, Scorpio gets right away. And and it hurts, you know. But note here that I don't see the Three of Swords. I don't see heartbreak. I don't see tower. I don't see the death card. I see clarity as the catalyst. And then the reaction is super duper duper disappointment. Um, so, you know, but uh, look, here's what I like about tarot. When you lay down a base reading, you get the initial vibes, but then it goes somewhere else, you know? So I think that maybe I want to pull, first off, I want to rearrange these because I think the messages go like this. clarity about this wild child in your life followed by disappointment can who else do you have any more messages for Scorpio for the week ahead please Teom the poet and this is why I think that there isn't a big tower and all the death because it's almost like 
Well, first of all, one of his key words is, is clear sight, which means the same thing as this, getting the clarity, finally understanding. But I also feel like I want to talk about hope, like maybe they just, like the reason there isn't a tower is because it isn't a big tower moment. The tower already fell and everybody's been hanging around the rubble, kind of just hoping that maybe it would get better. And it just never did. And so that's one message. The other message is, and I feel a little melancholy when I say this, is that it's like, I can't believe I let him get away. I just sat here and they got away. And so for Scorpio, that very, very well could be someone got away with something and Scorpio is pissed and is now going to start swinging swords because they're going to get their money back, right? That's a very Scorpio type way to roll. But this is... I just feel really melancholy. Um, so... So I so so we're going to find out what Scorpio is going to do because I feel like this is a moment in time that's coming up one moment where there's like bam clarity and then there's like the, these like pouring of feelings that happens after that. So then I want to know what happens when after that. So I'm going to pull some more cards to see what other kind of characters we have in the mix. And I'm going to clarify all of these. So if you want to see that, go ahead and follow the link below over to Vimeo. And we will continue this over there. This is where we part ways for the week. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will catch up with you next Saturday. Have a good one.